Hey, welcome to another episode of Atkins Dad in the Kitchen. My name is Kent Altman. And the last time I was making a jicama recipe, I referred to that as you shaved it off and uh, put them in the fryer with the jicama chips, they tasted a lot like scalp potatoes. And I like that got me thinking, couldn't you make scalp potatoes with jicama? And the answer is yes. So that's going to be my recipe for the day. I cooked my jicama. This is about two and a half pound, very large jicama. And I boiled it for about 20 minutes in the in a pot on the stove and so that the skin will loosen up and I skinned off the uh, very fibrous external skin so now that I have this uh, the outside uh, skinned off I'm going to use my pillar of course you could use a mandolin as well but I only have a vegetable pillar so I'm going to peel the interior of the jicama and catch back up to you when I'm when I'm done all right as I'm peeling up this this jicama I wanted to give you a word of warning I've um, done it myself in the last couple times I made it. I haven't cut myself yet, but I also heard it from one of my viewers that as they were peeling this, this jicama with the vegetable peeler, that they end up having to go to the ER because they end up cutting themselves. As you're using your vegetable peeler, remember, be careful with it. You can cut yourself. You can peel yourself just as easy as you can peel the jicama. So I don't want to be responsible for anybody else getting hurt. So you got your word of warning. Don't cut, don't cut yourself as you're um, following my recipes. Let me keep going and I should be done in a few minutes. All right, so I've just finished peeling up all the jicama. I'm gonna leave these remainders in my drunk pile. And I'm going to take some paper towels to just try to squeeze out as much of the water from the jicama as possible. All right, so I'm gonna take this and set this aside for right now. All right. So, I have one eight ounce package of cream cheese. To this, I'm going to add a half a cup of full fat sour cream and one cup of chicken stock All right, I'm going to mix these two together. All right. To this, I'm going to add about three ounces of chopped ham. Again, make sure you, when you purchase ham, you ask your butcher, you ask the deli person how much uh, carbohydrates is in the ham that you're giving me. Uh, it's up to you, you're the customer. Ask them those questions. See how much it is in there. Some of the ham is zero carb or one carb. There could be other ham that could be up to six to eight grams of carbs per serving. It's up to you to find that out. To this, we're going to give about, oh, a fourth to a half teaspoon of salt and pepper. Eight ounces of cheddar cheese. I'm going to 
save the final ounce or two to put on top. Mix these together one more time. I have my oven preheating at 350 degrees. Okay. These have given up about as much as water as I'm going to get out of them. So now you can put your sliced or scalped jicama in with your cheese and ham and chicken stock. Mix them through each other. All right, now we're on to putting in this final dish. So I have a large ceramic baking pan here. Take your cooking spray and give it a good spray. And then pour this in here, trying to evenly distribute all the deliciousness around. Now take the remaining couple ounces of cheese that you had left over and shake that to be on top. All right, we're gonna put this in the 350 degree oven for about an hour and we'll catch back up at that point. I'll talk to you guys then. All right, the timer just went off and I'll show you the finished product. Looks delicious. I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.